Hi, my name is Mike. Thanks for joining me today on my channel, Technically Church, where I share over 20 years of experience in audio, video, lighting, and multimedia. You can always find out more on my website at technicallychurch.com. Let's jump in. Today I'm going to show you the new bus feed configuration screen in firmware 3.0.5. I'm on a Behringer wing full size. Uh, so this is a new feature in 305 that didn't exist before. You can bulk change settings for all the channels in a bus. Before you had to go channel by channel uh, and set those settings. So now you can kind of do it bulk if you want to. So let's dive into the screen here and I'll show you. So I'm going to go to uh, bus 2 and just select that and then on your home screen here underneath input you can see the channels that are activated in this bus so if we click on that you get this new bus feed configuration screen uh, so you can see at a glance here the ones that are grayed out are not active in this bus the ones that are lit up are active in this bus but then you can also see all of the tap point settings uh, for each of those so you can see what's set to tap, what's set to post, you know, per channel in this bus. Um, and then you can make some global changes. So let me illustrate. So you can highlight as many of these as you want. So for instance, channels one through eight are currently not active in this bus. If I wanted to really quickly turn them all on, I could just do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then under uh, channel mute, I can say set to on. And then I can hit apply and it will turn those channels on in that bus. Same thing, if they're all set to tap, you know, minus my channel 24 is set to post, but they're all set to tap. Let's say I'm changing what this bus does and I want them all to be post, you know, and I don't wanna go through channel by channel and set that. So I can literally just hit all channels right here, select them all, and then I can say, I want them all to be tap point, and then hit apply, or, they were all tap already, sorry. I'm gonna hit post and hit apply. You can see now it's switched everything over to post uh, with just a click of a button. So you can change the send modes, you can change the channel mutes, you can change the panning if it's gonna follow the base channel pan or have its own pan. And then you can do the send enable on off and the send level so you can globally say, uh, turn them all off as far as the fader at negative unity. You can set them all to negative 10 or set them all to zero. So it's a really quick way to set all the faders. Let's just say you want a bus with every channel in it. Maybe it's gonna be your live stream mix. You want them all at Unity to start with and you want them all to be post fader. So they're all at Unity, but it affects, you know, what you do at front of house affects that bus. It's essentially, um, you know, a duplicate of your front of house mix for a live stream. You can just really quickly set them all to post, really quickly set them all to zero dB and everything is in that bus. So this is a pretty cool new feature that didn't exist prior. This is now in 305. And again, I'm on a full-size wing console here just for reference. Thanks for joining me today. Again, my name is Mike. You can always find out more on my website, technicallychurch.com, or on my YouTube channel, Technically Church. Look forward to seeing you soon.